Hello and welcome to the second week of powerful pivot table applications for research administration, our five week and Cura YouTube Tuesday series. I'm Dan McNamara, Director of Development at SmarterAdmin.com. Last week we got up and running with pivot tables. Let's dig a little deeper this week and talk about how pivot tables can take you from hating your source system to loving it. And I want to talk about how pivot tables are the missing key to your reporting. But first, the bad news. As I mentioned last week, a trend we're seeing more and more, one that's impossible for any of us to ignore, is that the amount of data we deal with day to day is exploding. And just look around at the news and you'll see Higher Ed's new favorite buzzword, big data. Everywhere you turn, it's big data, big data and higher ed, the big data revolution. But what does big data mean for you? Big data means it's harder than ever before to get the reporting you need. Source systems are becoming more cumbersome. Data downloads are becoming unusable. You feel like you're constantly searching for a needle in a haystack, and the haystack is only getting bigger, which is why it's easy to find yourself saying time and time again, why do I have to go to 10 different places to answer one simple question? And when you finally do get your answer after going to 10 different places, here's maybe the worst part. Big data often doesn't lead to answers. Big data often leads to more questions, harder questions. And you're back to square one having to dive back into the haystack to find a different needle. Well, pivot tables can turn this broken system on its head. Pivot tables can give you the advantage with growing data. Pivot tables can get rid of the haystack. And to show you how to do it, let's take a look at a live data set. This is a typical transaction extract with one exception. We have two really powerful formulas over here that convert any transaction date to fiscal quarter and fiscal year. Feel free to grab this worksheet unlocked for free at our website to see how, but you've downloaded your transaction extract and you've built a powerful pivot table dashboard using the techniques I went over last week in week one. If you haven't, feel free to check that video out. And this pivot table shows activity by PI, by award, and by expense category. But let's jump right into an example to show you how pivot tables can give you the advantage against growing data sets and more and more frequent report requests. Let's say it's 9.01 a.m. You've just sat down for the day. When you get this email from your PI, Dr. Jane Doe, she says, I'm walking over right now. I need to see my Q3 spending summarized by award. Now, if you're using your source systems reporting instead of pivot tables, you're thinking she's in a rush and I'm going to have to wait for the system to load as I click month after month, page by page, award after award. This is going to be a nightmare. We're not using the source system. We're going to use our pivot table dashboard. And as it is, we're almost ready to go. We're just going to go to our PI field and use the filter to only show Jane Doe's data by only checking the checkbox next to her name. And there we have it. Jane Doe's data for last quarter summarized by award just as asked. But as soon as Dr. Doe sees this, what happens? The same thing that always happens. Answers lead to more questions. And she immediately fires back. How did I spend so much on Award A1 in January? What did I spend that money on? And this is that fatal kind of question we are all used to. It sounds simple, it sounds similar, but we know the truth. Without pivot tables, each time she asks you a follow-up question like this, as easy as the follow-up question may sound, we're diving back into that haystack. We have to go to 10 different places in our source system to chase down that answer. But with pivot tables, we're in luck because you can drill down into the award spend by simply clicking the little plus sign to the left of the award. And when we click it, there we have it. You can see A1's cost by expense category, just like that, that easy. But now you've piqued your interest and your answer has led to more questions. So she asks, well, how does the spend in January compare to the previous quarter? Another question that sounds simple, that sounds similar, but if we're using the source system, that question forces us to dive back into the haystack. With pivot tables, we just go to our fiscal quarter field and we click this checkbox to include Q2's data as well as Q3's. We select OK and look at that. Q2's information lined up right to the left of Q3's information. And just when you're feeling great, here it comes. Dr. Jane Doe says the last thing you want to hear. She says, I changed my mind. I need to see total spending summarized by expense type. Now, this is an entirely different report. It's one thing to be able to drill down. It's one thing to be able to look at previous months. This is an entirely different report, a report your source system may not even have. 
And if that's the case, you're going to be stuck with manually adding up month over month your spending by expense category, hoping that when she sees that report, it doesn't lead to more questions and her asking you for another year's worth of analysis. And this happens all too often, simple sounding questions that are actually a tremendous workload that we can't answer with our source system that we have to answer manually. But we can get this answer with pivot tables and we can do it unbelievably easy. You just move your expense category row label up one so that it's above the account number and look at that. There's Jane Doe's spending summarized by expense type month over month. You've just created a custom report on the fly with two clicks. And if she wants, we can drill into expense category to see the spending by award. And this is one of the most powerful things about pivot tables. They'll allow you to create custom reports on the fly, even if that report doesn't exist in your source system. That's all for week two. We talked about how pivot tables can turn big data from big problems to big opportunities. And we gave you some easy but powerful pivot table tricks to show off to your PIs or colleagues for that wow effect. Next week, we'll talk about the zero effort way to maintain your pivot tables and how pivot tables can actually save you more time the more you use them. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.